greetings people. Right, um, uh, I'm only going to speak about three of the matches on the um, tough finale card uh, for my recap video. Firstly, apologies to everybody concerned. Um, the prediction video was quite hasty uh, and it wasn't distributed properly and uh, you know, I have been ill this last week and it looks set for the doctors tell me to continue for another couple of days. Um, but I am, I am going to try. Now, obviously I do have access to see uh, the um, UFC cards. I've also found a very interesting uh, site online which seems to be quite official that has uh, various um, uh, matches from the, the cards anyway very soon after. So it looks like for my recap video Sure Dog Play by Play will be a thing of the past. I'm sure you'll all be uh, absolutely out of your heads to know that. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is uh, John Madsen. Now you'll know that um, John Madsen is a hit squad fighter. He does fight out of a camp that I support. He, as a person you know I have issues with, um, I didn't watch much of Tough, so I didn't see him late uh, on, on that, uh, or any antics that he might have got up to there. But I, I have done a little bit of research about him, and, and I'm not awfully sure he's of uh, the sort of calibre that I would usually support. Um, I do know that uh, he did very, very uh, naughty uh, and not cheating, but very, very um, ungentlemanly practice, shall we say, um, in in touching gloves or in pretending to ch uh, touch gloves to try and get a takedown in one of the tough fights, and that just put me off him completely. Uh, now he was involved in a match yesterday. He won by split decision. You know, I've hunted for the match. I haven't seen it yet. I believe it wasn't actually aired on the pay per view. Um, I am prepared to give the benefit of the doubt. I, I, I do hear that there are a few boos, but that you know that there's always going to be some disagreement with uh, the outcome of a result. I think um, if it's shockingly wrong, it's obvious pretty quickly, and not a lot of other people have been saying anything like that. So, you know, fair play to him there. I want to move on to Matt Veach. Um, people have been quite surprised at the way that I supported Brian uh, Foster against Brock Larson not long ago. Um, now, Matt Veach is somebody who uh, hadn't before this uh, this tough card lost at all. Um, he did lose. He lost in the second round by RNC. Although really, the, the, the bit where he lacked uh, was on the stand-up against Frankie Edgar. He got sort of knocked down and wasn't able to recover uh, quickly enough. I do say that, you know, everybody loses to Frankie Edgar. It is true. One day, maybe BJ Penn will lose to Frankie Edgar, but that remains to be seen. Um, you know, I, I support Beach, and I think for the one and a half rounds that, that he fought, he did exceptionally well. Um, now here's another interesting thing, you know, Brian Foster on his debut lost to Rick Story and he uh, won Fight of the Night. Now it just turns out that uh, Matt Veach did lose um, uh, to Frankie Edgar and uh, that was not um, enough to uh, quell things entirely because he won um, Fight of the Night as well. So it seems that when the Hit Squad people do lose, um, they put on good performances, uh, good enough to warrant extra merit from the institution. You know, both guys now have got, you know, um, wins and losses within the institution. And their losses are no bad reflection on them. In fact, they have got paid a lot of money uh, in bonuses for um, exciting performance, which, is, which have won them fight of the night. So well done to them. I want to go on now and talk uh, about uh, John Jones and the main, uh, I think it was the main event outside of the actual uh, finales, which 
I've already told you that I, I really ha didn't watch Tough at all, so this whole thing has been uh, a little bit crap um, from my point of view, really, from my input, because I don't really, haven't watched the series at all. Um, anyway, so the main event outside of the sort of tough element was Matt Hamill uh, fighting John Jones. Now, <sighs> John Jones was disqualified, um, giving the win to uh, Matt Hamill. I have uh, listened to interviews um, online uh, as to uh, John Jones and his response to this. Now, apparently what happened was uh, it was a, a, a ground and pound uh, that was being delivered by Jones uh, to Hamill. And Jones seemed to think that he was doing enough so the referee should have uh, come in and stopped it. Um, and of course the referee didn't come in and stop it. And so he kept, uh, kept going and he kept changing his style of elbows apparently. And there's one elbow that's not allowed or, or something like that. Um, and he used it. He said, you know, he, he used it really without thinking. It wasn't a malicious act. It was intentional, but it wasn't malicious. He didn't actually think about it. His motive was trying to get the GMP stoppage. Uh, and of course, um, the uh, referee quickly latched on to this and um, when Howell couldn't, you know, recover, it was ruled a disqualification. Um, so I think he accepts that. Uh, I don't think it, it, it was the nasty sort of venomous type um, wronging that a few people seem to have made out. He seems to be quite not sorry about it, but he, he does seem to indicate that um, he was trying to finish, not trying to hurt, and that he, you know, is alright with abiding by the, um, the rulings, and he's just going to go away and, you know, uh, hopefully do better ne next time. And I think that's quite a commendable attitude. You know, I don't know a lot about him, um, but... Uh, I followed that up and, and I thought, well, fair enough then. Perhaps, perhaps I'm just not feeling, you know, overly critical because I'm not very well. I don't know. Uh, but there we are. That's, that's how it goes.